I've been putting NFC tags all over my house. Seriously, every room has an NFC tag now and they're so useful. I'll take you around my house and show you tons of ideas that I'm using right now. But I'm warning you, you might have NFC tags in your shopping cart by the end of this video. It's all right though, they're really inexpensive. Okay, let's go outside for the first idea. So we're here on the side of my house and one thing that's cool about NFC tags is that they don't need a battery so they work outdoors because they're waterproof. And I have one attached to this recycling bin and this one's cool because it has a hole in the middle so it was really easy to attach using zip ties because you know it needs to stay super secure. And the way it works is normally I get a reminder on my phone to wheel out the trash bins to the side of the street but sometimes I forget and now my smart home will remind me over and over again until I actually come out here and then I just scan my phone to the NFC tag and then it will stop reminding me. You can use this for any kind of reminders around your house, you know, taking vitamins or feeding your dog. I mean, favorite child. Ugh. So another useful thing about NFC tags is yes, they don't require a battery, but you also don't need to have them connected to your home's Wi-Fi. So I have a couple here in the car and when I'm out and about, my thermostats are in away mode, so my home is kind of warm, and when I want to cool it before I head home, I have an NFC tag here in this console that I can just scan on my phone, and that will send all my thermostats back into cooling mode, so my house is already nice and cool by the time I get home. And another really useful thing, NFC tags are actually pretty secure, because normally in a car you might have a garage door opener, but anybody could use this if they broke into your car but with the NFC tag, you have to have a phone that's unlocked. So I have a little NFC sticker right behind my visor, and if I'm heading home, I can just scan that, and that will open up my garage door right as I'm about to pull up to the house, so it opens up early enough to pull in, and it's super convenient. And I have a few other NFC tag ideas in the car in a previous NFC video that I'll link down in the description. So we're here in the laundry room, and I have a couple of smart washer and dryer, and they don't really stay connected to the Wi-Fi. So I added a couple of NFC stickers and they blend in well because they're just little white dots. And the way it works is that when it's time to start laundry, you just scan the tag and it will start a timer in your smart home. That way, if you're across the house, the echoes will let you know when the washing machine is done to move over your clothes. The washing machine is finished. But what's really awesome is if the washing machine finishes early, you can just come up and scan the tag again and it will cancel out the timer. And that way it's not annoying you by notifying you again. So here in the bathroom, when you're sitting on the smart home throne and you run out of toilet paper, you can just scan that NFC tag and it will announce on all the echoes that you need help. Can someone bring me toilet paper in mom and dad's bathroom? Can you spare a square? Three squares is all I need. So normally in my house, when my phones disconnect from Wi-Fi, my house goes into away mode. But if you don't want to set that up, you can also put an NFC sticker right next to your door so that when you're heading out, you can just scan it real fast and it will arm your alarm, put your thermostats in away mode, start your robot vacuum, and it's so much faster getting out the door. So another great place to have the NFC tags is here in the bedroom. We have one on Allie's nightstand and she loves it because she can just scan it at night when she goes to bed and it turns off every single light in the house. I also have an NFC tag on my nightstand, and what's great about these is I can have different functionality depending on what time of day it is. For example, if I hear a weird noise in the middle of night, like at 1 a.m., I can scan the NFC tag and it will automatically turn on the lights out there so I can go see what's going on and I can grab my smart home defense weapon. Or, you know, I could send Allie to go check it out. Or if it's morning time, I can scan it and it will set off a morning routine. We're here in the family room and I have another NFC tag which you might not be able to see because it's hidden. But this tag will turn on movie mode in this room. It turns off all the lights and it disables the motion sensors. That way when we're watching something, the lights don't annoy us. And it's actually right here in this canvas picture, right here in the corner. So you can just hold up your phone and it scans it and it enables movie mode. And there's lots of really creative places you can hide these. And I'll share some of my favorites in just a minute. All right, so I'm so excited to show you guys these wallets. And Xer sent me a few of these to try out. I wasn't sure how they would hold up, but it defeated my three-year-old. So I'm impressed, and that's why I agreed to have them sponsor this video. The wallets are extremely thin, but what makes them really cool is the tech. 
If you're in the Apple ecosystem, you can get their aluminum AirTag wallet, or they have this interesting Chipolo tracker card. It has this little solar panel on it to recharge, and I'm glad this tracker is in there because somehow my wallet ends up in strange places. Computer, tell Chipolo to find my wallet. Your Chipolo has started ringing. To keep a slim profile, the cards fan out using a button, and I like this because it makes it really easy to get the exact card I need. Inside there's this little grippy rubber material so the cards don't accidentally slide out, and it holds up to 6 cards, but you can put more in the back plate or hold cash under the strap. Honestly, I was worried about the durability with this button, but it survived all my drop tests, and it keeps working no matter how many times I've pressed it. Their carbon fiber card holder is my new everyday carry. It's so thin and light and I hardly notice it in my front pocket. If you're interested, check out Extra Wallets at the link below and use the code SMARTHOMESOLVER for 25% off. Okay, back to some of my favorite places to hide NFC tags. You might see these books and be like, wow, he's so smart, he likes to read. But actually the books are smarter than me because there's an NFC tag right inside the cover. Or you might see this coaster and be like, wow, he's so refined. Nope, NFC tag. Another place I like to hide NFC tags is behind the light switch wall plate. And I like this because you can't see it and you can put this in almost every single room. And when I show this in a recent video, someone commented that they use this for documentation for their smart home. It tells them what kind of automations are running in the room and also what electrical switch controls this light switch. And I think that's just genius. Another place I like to have NFC tags is in a kid's bedroom. And that's because they can't mess with any kind of smart buttons. And we have it right here in their light switch and we trigger a bedtime routine with it. So it will dim the lights and start playing lullabies on the Echo Dot. It can be annoying to remember all the chores around the house. For example, our robot vacuum dock, it can get a little smelly when I don't clean out the dirty water mop tank. And so what I have is my smart home will remind me if I haven't cleaned it out in a week, when it's a convenient time at night, it will tell me to clean it. And once I do, I can just scan the NFC tag and it will reset that reminder for another week. Basically, my smart home nags me so my wife doesn't have to. Another great way to use NFC tags is on storage bins, which I have a bunch out here in the garage. And technically I could write on the side of the storage bin what's inside of each one, but instead I can just put an NFC tag that will scan it and it will give me a notification of what's inside that bin so I don't have to go digging through to find out what's in there. So here in the garage, I have the lights automatically turn on when I open up a door, but then they turn off after 10 minutes and that's usually enough time to come in here and grab something. But if I'm working, I want the lights to stay on. So I have an NFC tag in here that will override those lights turning off. In a recent video, I showed how you can use an NFC tag to switch the Spotify source to the Echo Dot right in the room and automatically start playing music from it. And since I've set that up, I've been using it all the time. I love this feature. It's the worst getting bombarded with motion notifications from your video doorbell. Like if you're cleaning the front porch, pulling weeds, or if someone's going in and out of the front door all the time. So to not get those motion notifications, I have an NFC tag right here in the light switch plate next to the front door. So when we scan it, it will disable them all. And then when we're ready for the motion notifications to come back, we just scan it again and it re-enables them. So with Android, if you're using Home Assistant, it's really fast to set up the tags. And anybody that has another phone that's using Home Assistant can also scan those tags and it'll work the exact same for them. So it saves a lot of time, but it can be difficult to know who scanned the tag. So that's one of the downsides with Android. With iOS, you have to set it up for each phone for every action, but you'll know who scanned it so you can make some custom actions for each person that's scanning the tag. So there are some benefits of each one, and the biggest one is iOS does not need you to unlock the phone to scan the NFC tag, where Android, you have to unlock it. And to me, that's a big, huge deal breaker if you're wanting to use NFC tags a lot. I would almost use iOS just for that. And if you like this kind of video and want to see more automation ideas, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Oh, hey. It looks like you need to do your chores. Okay. Hey, Dad, I need your phone. Okay, sure. Thanks.
all done. Oh, wow. It's already marked complete. Good job. That was really fast. It was so easy. Hmm.